Hey guys, Valiant here, and today I will be giving my review and impressions of Dragon Nest, Dragon's Nest on mobile. So let's enter the game here. We got a bunch of choices for characters, as you can see. Uh, the one that I made is an assassin. I'm level 47 at the moment. But there is all these other classes that you expect to see in the regular game. Warrior, your archer, your sorceress, and so on and so forth, right? We got the cleric, we got the tinker, and we got the uh, bustiful Kali here. Quite the uh, jiggle physics for her, that's for sure. Let's get in the game. Alright, now I didn't log in today so I can go through some of the things that you can expect so lots of login events login rewards yada 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 all right now here's the main hub of the game can't do really much here except yeah some of the stories are here and this is how you get to the main you know the main part of the game but overall it's it's whatever now, the story itself is pretty decent, it's an interpretation of the main game's story, but a little more, I think, watered down for mobile. And there's a lot of um, ways. This game's social system is very well done, I think. So, for instance, the guild system, there's obviously a login system, and there is a lot of different features, such as donations of items and you even play poker and you get a higher score and yeah that's it's a, a really cool way to just add more stuff there's even a guild shop here which you can use a contribution to buy items with the friend system itself is uh, interesting but you, you need to really play with your friends so if you just make friends and then just kind of ignore them, it doesn't really help much. Now, the gearing system is quite in-depth, I gotta admit. So you got this whole set of gear here. For instance, let's say this dagger. Look at all of these ways of improving, <laughs> upgrading, enchanting, forging, refining, enhancing, everything. Every word you can think of is in here. Let's do a little bit of enhancing myself. There we go. And then there's a costume system, which uh, does give you stats, but you can get it for just playing the game. This uh, permanent chest style set. Uh, there's the emblem system from the original game. There is Jade system. I think it also was in the original game. I don't remember really. I haven't played that game in a long time. So a lot of upgrading going on. Dragon wear for extra buffs. And um, enhancements to your skills. Um, and there's also a title system which also gives you uh, stats, of course. There Now, the daily, the way their daily system works is you can see here the daily button at the bottom right. That's really where you're going to spend most of your time in. And also, talking to this lady and uh, turning in things and doing um, killing quests. So, for instance, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do from Nest, Abyss, Daily Quests, which I just did those quests right here, the Daily Quests. Bounty Missions, which are pretty much weekly quests, I would say. And a whole bunch of different things to do. Now, let's go a little bit into the combat, which I think is pretty good. So, let's do a quick Abyss. Um, actually, the best way to do this is uh, go to the daily, and we want to kill her, Wonder Island, sure, let's go there. Now, you could auto-pass it, you get six attempts in um, Abyss mode, which is the way you get your gear, is Abyss mode, and there's normal mode for questing, and um, the story, obviously, and also some items that you turn in with the daily quests. Now, I normally like doing it a full on non auto passing because you get more items. And you only get six attempts a day, so you might as well. There's an auto system for fighting, 
which is pretty nifty. Not everything has an auto system, which I actually like because you, you know, get you to actually play the game. For instance, the PvP doesn't have an auto system, obviously. And the Abyss and some other raid-like instances don't have the auto system. But the story does. Abyss does. Uh, did I say Abyss? I meant uh, Nests. They don't have the auto system. But Abyss does, as you can obviously see. So, very flashy game. Very, very flashy. Um... The skills are very responsive, so when if I, let's say, I take control of the character itself. Lots of combos, ultimates, buffs, and just... When it comes to these type of games, it has a lot more going for it than most other action MMOs. I would say this is an action MMO. You know, five skills, five regular skills, an ultimate, and two buff slots. Very, very well done in terms of just um, there we go. In terms of depth, this game definitely has more depth than a lot of these games. So there we go. You even get your treasure system. Very good, very good. So we finished that. And now let's go and talk about other things we can do. So, we submit it, finished it, good stuff. Now, there's an auction house system, which uses this currency right here, called DNP. And that's how you... There's a shop for it for different things, and then uh, the whole auction house system works with DNP. So you can sell your stuff. Um, wow, I... Let me reshelve these things real fast. There we go. And uh, let's put two omelets on here as well. So, good stuff, right? Now, there's all, um, a bunch of different things. Oh, yeah. You also get these sprites, which are more buffs to your character, because why not, right? And... Um, yeah, a whole bunch. I mean, this game is all about improving your BP up in the uh, top left, so they have so many different ways. And here's the shops, by the way. All these shops for different things. Glory shop is your PvP shop. You got your guild shop, like I said before. Personal shop is pretty much for for your for your costume, really. So on and so forth. The biz shop is very useful for gearing yourself. And there's a whole bunch of different, like this right here is more ways to improve yourself. I really don't care. But you can, uh, this dice system right here doesn't always work, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, let's see, the arena system. Now this is pretty interesting. For instance, the Battle of Heroes, or let's, let's start with Ranking Match. Ranking Match is your regular 1v1 with using your character. Now your Battle of Heroes is a MOBA style game mode where you select a character from these and if you unlocked any, you can select any of these other ones. You even have access to Belskud, badass dude. And you just play in a control uh, King of the Hill mode. Um, and it's pretty cool, I gotta admit, it's pretty cool. Arena Nest is you doing your nests, but uh, in a different way. I haven't actually done Arena Nest. Didn't see a need to do it. Now, um, the other main feature is you get a home. You get your own place, so let's go there. Here you can do some cooking and some fishing. So, you harvest your food. You pretty much plant, you harvest your crops, and then you do fishing. And then you get to cook. And these type of things, such as omelet assassins, or omelets from assassins, I'm an assassin, I can only make the omelets can sell. You turn them in for dailies, and you can make BP, or DNP off of them. 
So it's a very, very cool way. Very cool extra thing that they added. I don't think they needed to, but they did. And it's pretty nice. Something extra to do. Thing is, when you run out of chances, so when you run out of your um, nest uh, attempts, which is two times a day, six ab abyss attempts, and your other stuff like your boss rush or your dark temple and dragon expedition, you really, the game just slows down. So I say you have about two hours of play time a day before you just get either repetitive or you actually run out of stuff to do because even, if, you know, let's say your stamina depletes to zero, you're out. You're out of the job, right? Uh, unless you spend a bunch of DMP to recover your abyss attempts, your stamina and all that stuff, but it's not really worth it. Um, and so I, th at that point, you're either done for the day or you play another character, which I haven't done yet because, um, I got other things to do. So for me, actually, it's enough playtime. But for other people, I feel like it could be too, too little. You can do some PvP if you want to, but that's about it. So, here's the skill system. Uh, you get to upgrade... A few times, actually, you go from assassin to two different classes, so shinobi and uh, Taoist, and I think you go uh, from I went to shinobi, so I went abyss walker. But there's also like the healing version of this. I forgot the name of it. So there are a bunch of classes for each specific character you choose. You never get bored, really. Uh, you, you know, you can be pretty unique. And especially, you know, you get a whole bunch of skills here and an Abyss Walker section, there's a whole bunch of buffs to your skills, really. Um, the benefits packages are actually pretty good. The paid system in this game is pretty well done. For instance, uh, the Privilege Club here is your 30-day packs. They're pretty cheap overall and you get a whole bunch of uh, privileges such as, well, more, you know, for instance, uh, more abyss attempts, uh, so you get to play longer. It's what it is, but you gotta pay for that with real money. It's two bucks a month, not too bad, but if you want to be completely free, free to play player like me, then it's not really something you're gonna look into. And yeah, that is about it for the game. I give it a solid. No, 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 7 out of 10. And that's because you do run out of stuff to do. And uh, in PvP mode, especially for the ranking system, I feel like there's just too much uh, juggling going on. Like to the point where you get burned down quickly. So... It's, it's extremely high cap in terms of skill cap, so to somebody who doesn't really play this game too much, you pretty much lose uh, quite a few times before you get better. Um, and in in terms of grouping, it can get pain, very painful to to find people, especially when you're trying to do um, the dragon soul land here. Uh, not the dragon soul on, sorry. The uh, dragon's lair. Yep. This right here. It is. You require six people, and that is a pain in the ass. That's for sure. Now. Yep. That's about it for the game. So I think it's a pretty good game. It's above average. Definitely better than. A lot of other other ones, not as good as Maple Story, in my opinion, but it's up there. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.